Sir. Ticket, sir. Sir. You must give your boarding pass to the attendant at the gate. This is from the ship's black box. Play it from the takeoff only. All right. There. The lights flicker. Power surge there. Air safety hasn't determined yet what caused the crash, but they haven't ruled out sabotage. What about the central computer? IPC Systems Group reports that their initial diagnostics do not indicate malfunction or failure. Mm. Until the reason, whatever it is, is determined, the IPC is tasking every agency, including ours, to investigate all leads. Get down to the transport bay and liaise with the IPC team on site. If it's not an accident, I don't want to be the last to know. It is a difficult thing for the human eye to absorb. What? Graphic evidence of just how frail the human structure really is. Computer on, autopsy John Doe number three. No identification. 60% uh, of the skin tissue is burnt. Same fuel residue as previous victims. You all right? Looks familiar. I'm okay. Surface examination reveals a subdural hematoma. Possible closed head injury. Lividity indicates injury sustained post mortem. Moving to chest. Examining an unusual formation in the peritoneal region, upper right chest. It looks like some kind of cavity has been surgically created to. Biohazard 
Scan active. Scan complete. No hazardous materials detected. Computer, broad spectrum scan, all bioorganic material to one micron. What is it, Robbie? Your presence is required at the front, Dr. Chang. storage. Locked and sealed. I, I'm looking for my son. His name is Jeffrey Daniels. They said that we could get some news here. Please. My mother was on the transport. I'm sorry, I can't give you any information now. If you contact the IPC information... Yeah, they told us to come here. We know there are no survivors, all right? Is my son here? I have to know, please. I'm sorry for your loss. But IPC strictly forbids me to release any information at this point. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Please, I need to see my brother. Henry. Well, then. Look, I'm sorry if I... It's just... I understand what you must be feeling now. My brother was on that transport. I'll let you know something as soon as I can. Thanks. I appreciate the audience, Lieutenant. I know you're very busy, considering the circumstances. Why is Veridine interested in a transport crash? Have you changed your area of expertise from genetic engineering to transportation? A high-ranking member of the company was on that transport. Lieutenant, it is imperative that your investigation moves quickly and that all resources are exhausted. That's how all our cases are worked. Of course. Why would a senior consortium official be making a trip to Mars on a commercial flight. Variable Dynamics is in the process of downsizing. Even top executives are being affected by the cost cutting. Veridine really hasn't had a good year, has it? Your special ops unit was torn apart. I don't represent the security division, Lieutenant. I am here because one of our members was aboard a transport that tragically exploded. Maybe I need to see someone above you? What's your executive's name? Summers. Joseph Summers. I don't see his name listed here as of yet, but I will make it my number one priority to let your office know if he is identified. What about next of kin? He has a brother. I just want to verify that it is Mr. Summers and inspect his personal effects. You can inspect when the time comes, but you won't be removing anything from our lab until our investigation is complete. Fair enough. You could also be happy. Why not let me call the Bible you for yourself? Good night. Don't stay too late. Uh, I'm just gonna upload the last batch of DNA IDs. Good night. Show test results, unknown substance, vile, aqueous, synthetics, neurons, dendrites. Oh my god. Computer open bio storage. Computer, mainframe security, lab, Dr. Olan Chang, 2443. Override biosensor. Ignoring any and all biogenetic filters.
containing nanosynthetic markers. Override complete. to drive him to the station and see him off. But I had to cancel the last... I never thought that I, that I wouldn't... Your brother was on the transport. I'm sorry. I'm truly sorry. Gave him a St. Christopher medallion for luck for when he made his first trip. Dumb, right? Are you okay? No. I need to get out of here. See why you should have to wait for these. Are you? Your brother introduced us, remember? Thank you. going on what you letting a civilian into the lab a civilian who didn't have authorization to be there I gave a break to a grieving relative showed some compassion something you wouldn't know much about I've had a long day and I still have a day's work ahead of me dr. Chang yes have a good evening. Computer, list DNA test results. Computer, delete files, DNA analysis, bioorganic substance. Access denied. Damn. Access denied.
I received your message, Olan. Hmm. Lucky for me, you never sleep. I need your help. Someone's trying to lock me out of my system from the outside. Yeah. Oh. An outside party is attempting to gain access to your database. It is remarkable that this outside party has managed to penetrate so far beyond the firewall, which isolates your computer from the mainframe. Can you stop it? I believe so. Access granted. There. I will set up a diagnostic routine to ensure that your data has not been compromised by your intruder. Wait, I, I want to delete a file. It's the last DNA scan on the list. I don't want to leave any trace of the deletion. And you are wondering if you can trust me to keep that secret? Yes. Ian, I discovered something on one of the victims. And if I'm correct, its origin is unbelievable. I think that's why someone's trying to hack into my system. If your suspicions of danger are warranted, Olan, I recommend that you take your findings to Lieutenant Ehrenthal. No, Ian, if I'm correct about the contents of this file, I can't let it get out of my hands and into Veridine's. Which they would be entitled to if you report your findings. I sure as hell can't trust Callie. I see. If I'm wrong about the contents of the vial, I will come clean with Arenthal. But until then, I need your help. I need time to run more tests, and I need access to information that only you may have. DNA is in this file. It has some of the exact genetic strands as an alpha. But unlike previous attempts to replicate alpha technology, this one may have succeeded. Okay, so I owe you one. I had no idea the talk was going to take that long. Anything to uh, get you back into the workforce? You slept through everything but the introduction. Well, I have a job. Oh, I should have asked Olin to go with me. She would have at least tried. Go on upstairs, okay? I'll be up in a minute. Don't be long. No more. What do you want? I need a minute of your time, detective. It may help a friend. Don't waste your minute. A Veridine courier was on the transport that crashed. Now your dear Olin Chang has the package, I want it back. A package? A piece of proprietary technology. A memory chip composed of synthetic living genetic material. Paradine has been in competition with several other consortium companies for some time now to see who would perfect it first. Recall? Yes. There, now I've laid all my cards on the table. It makes you think Olin has it. She has it. So? So I want you to retrieve it. <sighs> and why would I want to do that? Dr. Chang has the package. She hasn't reported it. I want it back without incident. Detective. This is the address of Henry Summers. He and Olin have recently become close. I believe you'll find the package among some personal belongings she gave him, illegally. Save your friend or arrest her. Your choice. We'll talk soon.
computer messages. Hi, I uh, got your number out of the alumni directory. I guess a college education is worth something after all. But anyway, I was just sort of feeling like I didn't really want to be alone, and uh, um, so I, I'd, I'd like to uh, to see you. So I'll, I'll call you later. out of the alumni directory. But I guess you figured that out. It's late. Yeah. I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't have just uh, come over, but I was just... Uh, I, don't, I just wanted to say thank you again. And so... Uh, anyway, I'm just going to go. Actually, I could use the company. Thanks for the tip. What are you doing here? Same thing you are. Concerned about the company Dr. Chang is suddenly keeping. I deactivated the cameras on the way in. My scanner found eight. Summer's brother was the Verdine courier who was on that transport. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? About Owen? What do you got? Summer's personal effects. Taking this out of the lab could end her career. She's involved with the consortium. Maybe she's being set up. I checked him. He's got a clean record. There's no consortium ties. Maybe she's using him. So he says, you might want to wash that off before you try to put that in there. <laughs> he didn't say that. Well, he did. He did. Well, your brother was a smart kid. Yeah, he was. My brother, the, the great Avenger.
I gotta go to work. <laughs> I don't wanna go to work, but I gotta go. If I don't tell you the code, you can't go. This is normal behavior? With my schedule, I have on several occasions brought work. Evidence. Evidence home to conclude examinations and finish reports. Frankly, I don't think it's that scandalous. Most CPB detectives bring their work home. They bring paperwork home, not potentially dangerous material. I would never do anything to endanger lives or jeopardize an ongoing investigation. You said you don't even know what's in the file. How can you say that? Joseph Summers was a Veridine employee acting as a courier at the time of his death. Corporate Security Act clearly states that any personal effects, especially those of a business nature, belong to the company. Unless that person was killed while committing a crime or was murdered. Whether or not a crime has been committed remains to be determined unless you have evidence that indicates either of those two things. I called her. I will spare everyone the formalities. I think you have something that belongs to I us. I can't believe you're just going to hand that over to her. We haven't finished running our oh. tests. As I said to Lieutenant Callie, I won't make a formal complaint. But that vial is Veridine property. CPB has no authorization to either hold it or examine its contents. What are its contents? Excuse me, I used the wrong word. It is certainly within your rights to examine the vial. You have, no doubt, already done that and determined that its contents are not combustible or flammable and had no involvement in the crash. The Corporate Security Act, however, prevents you from disclosing your technical findings. And I want you to know that should you violate the act, I will be back here, and you will be lucky if the only thing that you lose is your job. We understand. We are planning on taking disciplinary actions. Lieutenant. suspended pending an immediate investigation. You want to talk? I think the time for talking is over. Arenthal suspended me. Look, whatever's going on, let me help you. I think it's a little late for that, David. I've already been suspended. Well, it's not too late. Unless that's what you want. No, it's not what I want. I overrode the security system when I left here last night. It never would have gone off this morning if someone hadn't reprogrammed it. The only people who can do that are here. So obviously, Callie reprogrammed it. What? He knew about you giving over the envelope of personal effects. Now you're left without a leg to stand on, so instead of explaining yourself, you're covering up. And I'm not the only one who can see that. I gave Henry the envelope because I felt sorry for the guy, nothing more. I slipped the personal effects envelope to a grieving family member, and for that, Arenthal suspends me. Come on, David. You should stop and listen to yourself for a minute. Are you making my choices for me now? You 
know, sometimes when you bend the rules, you gotta pay a price. The question is always, is it worth it? I violated CPB policy when I gave you your brother's personal effects. So they did all this for a couple of photos and a watch. I'll help clean up. I'm sorry, Henry. No, it's not your fault. I think maybe it is. so beautiful and peaceful. Love, Henry. Computer, connect Favre. Olan, I was expecting to hear from you earlier. Are you all right? Better than all right. What have you got? It seems that the substance in the vial is a synthetic gene of a type found only in the human brain. Apparently, they have managed to isolate and recreate synthetically the gene responsible for ideation, independent thought, possibly indicating the basis for an alpha synthetic brain, as you suggested. If Veridine gets a hold of and harnesses alpha technology, think of the strategic advantage it would give them. It would be as disastrous to the balance of world power as nuclear proliferation was 50 years ago. Olan. If you note my analysis of the human tissue samples, you will see that they are only a few days old. Oh, my God. Favre, they're using fetal brain tissue. If we can prove that Veridine has been using human brain tissue in their experiments, we have legal grounds to nail them and stop this. Further to our previous conversation, I would suggest, Olan, that now is the time to approach Lieutenant Arenthal. If you like, I can call and set up a meeting with Lieutenant Arenthal first thing in the morning. You, of course, need to sleep. Olan! Olan!
Where did she go? Who knows? Come on. Two minutes from Olin's. I just got a call from Ramey at Veridine. The substance in the vial we gave them turned out to be nothing but bio waste. You played her? I think she's playing back. She couldn't have. I reset the sensors in her lab for the real thing after she left. Olin? Olin. She is gone, David. This happened just moments ago. The residual heat from the laser blast was still in the door when I arrived. I'll call it in. Already done. There are ground units searching a four block radius. How'd you get here before me? I was talking to Olin when this happened. He triggered the alarm. I called back and was unable to reach her. What are you looking for? The vial that she found. You knew it'd be here. How did Olin have time to make a duplicate vial for him? She asked for my assistance. Uh-huh. Hey, this is a big step for you. Olin felt that she could not trust Lieutenants Arenthal and Kelly and asked for my assistance to determine the exact nature of the contents of the vial. Our test proved that Veridine's synthetic memory gene was made from illegal human tissue. should have told me. I did not want to compromise you, David. Compromise me? What does that mean? Olan said that you would make her intentions clear once we had analyzed the vial. And you believed her? Call it a gut instinct. David, I am telling you about it now because I need your help to find her. Henry Summers. You have reached Detective Favre at the CPB. Damn it. Please leave a message. Henry Summers, uh, 2-22-55. Hello? Henry, I, I need your help. What's wrong? Can you meet me somewhere? OK. Somewhere public. I can't go home. Are you telling me what's going on? Look, meet me at the Mars jump port. Meet me at the main concourse. You'll be all right? Yes. Okay, I'll be right there. Now you can meet them. Come to Mars. I want the vial. I know what you're up to, and I'm not giving it up. He made us. We'll find the vial ourselves. To report this. No, 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 no. I'm just gonna explain to them. We gotta get out of here. They're gonna kill me. Who? You don't have to tell me everything, but it would help. It has to do with your brother and something that he was carrying off world for Veridine. Veridine. Two men from Veridine came to my office. They were asking me about a vial. They wanted to know if you gave it to me. I said no. What's in the vial is dangerous. It's deadly. 
You give it to me until you feel safe. No, that would only put you in danger. Well, let's hide it somewhere. No, I can't let it get out of my hands and into Veridine's. I can't let you do that either. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Just give me the vial. You killed all those people. No. No, that crash was an accident. If it hadn't happened, my brother would be on Mars by now. I'd be on my way to join him. You see, my brother discovered that gene. And I helped him do the research and develop it. And now Veridine wants to profit from it. So you're the noble scientist in all of this? You're damn right I am. Just give me the file, please. Your gene requires that you harvest from living brain tissue. From the living brain tissue of children. I'm not gonna let you get away with that. Please, just give me the file. Now! Ah!